What's up, YouTube? So, I'm just on my way to the bank here. This is going to be kind of like a maybe a wake-up call, wake-up moment type video for some of you out there, okay? And it's going to be to people that are probably hurting right now and upset. But it's, it's like maybe something you need, okay? Because there's very few people like me out there. Uh, in, in terms of what I want to talk about. So it's obviously MMTLP, okay? And how you guys got bamboozled and screwed. And for a few days now, for like day one, I put out a video where I didn't have a position on it. I didn't say anything. I just did some DD, called a broker, learned about the shorts and how they actually haven't had any new shorts on it, not from my broker, since July because they didn't allow it of last year. And then, uh, so I did some DD and people got all upset because it was stuff they didn't want to hear. They want to hear, it's going to 10 bucks, it's going to 100 bucks. We're getting all the shorts out the cover. We're doing this, that, and the other. We're going to the moon. That's what people want to hear. They don't want to just know all the facts and then make their own decision from that. And if it turns out to be maybe not so, not so hot and maybe they're down already, they really don't want to hear it because that's... And then well, I, I might have to take a loss here. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not, retail's going to win. No, retail is never going to win. You're swimming with sharks. Back when AMC and GameStop was running, okay? They didn't know about Wall Street Bets, Reddit. <sighs> the YouTubers didn't really exist, okay? The information wasn't really spreading. And then it spread like wildfire. Caught them off guard. They got squoze. They got squoze. GameStop squoze. AMC squoze. 2 to 72 is 3,600%. That's a squeeze. 10 bucks to 450 bucks. That's a squeeze. Okay? Uh, now they know. They've infiltrated. They have people in, in every Discord, in every chat room, in, in, in stock twits, on YouTube, paid pumpers, FUD articles, everything. Everything. You, you're getting played. Week after week after week after, and you buy it. You buy it. Hook, line, and sinker every damn week. And then a guy like me comes out who just tries to just, I take an impartial stance at first on a new pump play because I run a Discord and people ask about it. And then I come out and I say, nah, guys, I checked the filing. You guys are getting a spinoff share that, of a private company. Essentially, who can you sell your share to? You can't sell it. You'll have a share in a private company. It's, it, it, it is worthless. It's worth nothing. And I try to tell people that, and they don't say anything. You want to follow the hype man. The hype man got 20,000 followers, 50,000 followers, 100,000 followers on YouTube. I got three because I'm not out here hyping up garbage and, and causing everyone to just lose money day in, day out. I'm actually trying to just figure stuff out, and maybe if it's good, cool, we run it. If it's bad, you got to stay away or buy a put on it or short it. Shorts win or one rather, on this play because they, they they knew that they could cover low. Yesterday, down 60%. It's a that goddamn fire sale, guys. Why was it a fire sale? Because last one out, last one out, you're holding shares of this new spinoff that's, that's worthless. And I know, and I know how that works because I hadn't referenced Twitter and I had referenced WestJet, which is a Canadian airline, okay? And everyone says it's not the same. It's not the same. Yes, it is the same. And I'll tell you why it's the same. Because they all went private. That's the same thing. It doesn't matter if it's a spinoff or if they paid you in cash. You were told what you'd get with Twitter. You were told you're going to get 54 a share with WestJet. You were told you were going to get money for your shares with this MMTLP, you were told you were going to get shares of an unknown value, of an unknown amount. You don't, is it even one for one? I don't even know. I didn't need to know because I knew you were going to get shares of a private company. Okay. Usually startups are private and they involve giving shares to investors early investors. Amazon, hey man, I'm opening up book business out of my garage. Can you loan me 10 grand? I'll give you shares of my company. I'm going to register it with the government and pay taxes. I'm calling it Amazon. 
I'll give you 10,000 shares for your 10,000 bucks. Whenever I go public, if it ever ha if it works out for me, bro, you have shares of the company. Buddy gave him 10 grand, he got shares, he went public later, became a multimillionaire instantly, okay? But that's a Cinderella story once in a lifetime. This is a backwards Cinderella story. This is like beauty turning into the beast or whatever. Like, you, you had a company, it was listed, and they were like, ah, we're, we're, we're going to switch it up and become something else. Probably has been so bad that they're changing their name to try and get the stain off of them. There's going to, there's probably likely a, you know, a paper trail of trash and a big old stain following them. And a lot of times, a lot of these companies deceptively change their names to try and hide that for down the road investors. Okay. Cause down the road, they can come out. Maybe, maybe if you're lucky in five or 10 years, this company finds a way to get relisted and you can finally sell those shares until then what are you going to do with them put them on ebay and hope like how are you going to get rid of them and i had asked this to people and no one had an answer because they didn't know i already knew the answer you aren't going to be able to sell them it's a private company you could have called your own broker instead of following these pumper hype men on youtube twitter stock twits Twitter spaces, all this trash. Instead of all that, you, yourself, as an adult, could have called your broker and said, how do I sell the new share? Chances are they would go, let me look, put you on hold, come back. Uh, I, we don't really know. We don't have much information on it. It's probably what they would have told you. In other words, we don't know. It, it would have been the gist of that. We don't know. <laughs> to our knowledge, you cannot sell a share that is not listed. I cannot GameStop DRS their shares. They took the share off and it's now a physical share. Technically exists, but it's a physical. It's not available to sell. They have to re-register the share and then they can sell it. You guys don't eat, you're not it, this is like a not even a DRS situation. This is just a total delisting and a, some dumb spin-off. It's probably trash. So I am sorry that you got burned. But I'm also not sorry because you you wouldn't heed advice and you put the blinders on. If you're in the Caribbean or wherever, South Africa, okay, and you jump in a water of sharks because you're a, you know, a dumb tourist and they're like, bro, get out of the water, there's sharks. And those sharks are the insiders who know these plays in and out, the lawmakers who know these plays in and out know how to make sure retail gets screwed and, and they don't. Market makers who screw you, Ken Griffin, those are the sharks. If you're a dumb, naive tourist, day trader, retail, swimming with the sharks, and people are telling you from the boat, I can see sharks get out of the water, and you're going, nah, water's warm, I'm going to enjoy myself. Don't be surprised when you're lunch, when they eat you alive. Maybe... Just maybe you should toss me on a subscription, a like, follow, and hate me all you want, right? But have me there as a second voice that might oppose a lot of these pump plays and maybe gives you some info why it might not be the best idea to get in. Or maybe I agree with something along the way. Cosm, C-O-S-M. It's up too much. I knew it was. I said 60, 60 cents. That's like five, six hundred percent. You got to take profit to some of the people in my Discord and some people in another channel that I was discussing it with. And uh, lo and behold, it drops to like 30, 25 cents. It has to follow. But the CEO is buying shares, but he's also not just buying them. He's being given some or exchanging them. They're different classes. So it's not as cool as it seems. But you're being hyped with one dollar. That's total bullshit. It's the basic math. This thing was like a dime to go to a dollar. We're talking a thousand percent on what? On, on a CEO buying some shares. So what? So what? Show me something. It's a teeny little company that operates in Greece and uh, one other teeny area there. I can't remember. Greece and something else. And it's just vitamins. So what? It, it, that's it. 
You're going to put all your money into some vitamin company from Greece. Whose economy is real bad, by the way. So, maybe, just maybe, use me, like, let me be a tool as just an alternative source for you guys. I'd love to see my channel grow and blow up to 10,000 and 20,000 and 100,000 people. It's never going to happen because I'm not that hype guy. I don't hype crap like that. Uh, because we're in a bear cycle market anyways. We're ready to drop ready to claw back. I'm hyping. I mean, I hyped Walmart and Campbell Soup and Lockheed Martin. And those aren't Lockheed Martin. Like I'm sure retail could have got behind me like sweet fighter jets and bombs. But they, you know, Campbell Soup and Walmart. No one was like, yes, Campbell Soup to the moon because it ain't sexy. It was up 500% on the calls the other day. 500% and you're in a play and out of a play within a 24-hour period no holding no baggies if it goes up again you can re-enter and go in more if it goes down boom you already got your money this is the thing with these pump plays why do you need to constantly hold why can't you just get in make some money and get out and if it continues to run the next day re-enter run it up and get out but if it falls, at least you're not in there and you got juked. And now you're you're pretty screwed because who's going to want it now? They're going to be like, oh my God, it's down 30%. I don't want it. What's the next play, guys? What's the next play? If retail had two catchphrases in all of existence that were, like if you had a tombstone for retail, it would read, retail to the moon. And what's the next play? Those are like synonymous. The second they lose interest, that's it's toast. You're going to get a big old drop, a little more drop, a pop from baggies, and people are just like, ah, let's give it one more go. But they all know, we're just going to give it a go and get the hell out. They're not, we're going to give it a go and then try to hold to the moon. No, we're going to give it a pop and get out. Keep, keep... If... A YouTuber has pumped multiple plays on you and multiple plays have essentially failed. Not, not, not they didn't go up. That they never hit any of their targets. If they're telling you a dollar or ten dollars or whatever on multiple plays and none of those plays hit, I think it's time to stop uh, betting with your wallet with those individuals. And I am not singling any one person out because it's not just YouTube, it's stock twits, like, you know, uh, it's Twitter. It's a lot of places. So, uh, just, it's your money at the end of the day and no one's holding for you. You're holding for you. It's your cash and your financial future. And I'd like to see you one day be free from it all.